I'm speaking to you today on mistake I made in ministry, which was failure to govern the public charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit. Oh, many years ago, we came to the conviction that we should allow the public manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, uh, healing gifts, tongues and interpretation of tongues and prophecy. And we came to that conviction that this must have a place in our gatherings. So we as elders decided to do this and we announced it to the congregation. And then we found that all sorts of people started to visit the congregation and wanted to practice their so-called gifts of the Holy Spirit upon us. One day we had a man come and sat in the congregation and after prophesying so-called for about 20 minutes, I finally said, can you please let somebody else uh, have the microphone and prophesy? And under his breath, but at a level that many people could hear it, he said, quench not the spirit, quench not the spirit. And I said to myself, yeah, and you just quenched it because now the congregation's gonna be turned off to having manifestations of the spirit. Well, that hard experience taught me that we need to govern the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And it's hard, but elders need to be able to say to people, we don't receive that from the Lord, or to give people time limitations so that they can't take over the service. We had one person who every week was coming and she was expressing her own rejection through a supposed gift of prophecy and every week she would introduce her prophecy this way. I love you my people but, and then she would begin to tell the congregation how they were not measuring up and weren't loving enough when what she was really was saying is I don't feel enough love here. So we asked her to not prophesy for a while and she was so offended that she left the congregation. So we did several things to enable the gifts of the Holy Spirit to come to a level that really was credible and powerful. One of it was that we wanted to make the public gifts in the main service mostly uh, to be the um, uh, providence of the people who had proven those gifts in the small home groups and therefore they were released. It's not that we would never let others speak, but they would check it with an elder first and they would limit time and yes, we publicly decided, like 1 Corinthians said, that we would let two or three speak at a time and then we would judge and evaluate and we learned that we had to, as leaders, judge and evaluate what was coming forth in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and just not let things go on without that kind of evaluation. Once we learn that particular ability, once we learn to govern in that way, everything came to a higher level and we began to see marvelous gifts of the Holy Spirit that were very supernatural over many, many years. My name is Cody Archer and I'm a part of the Revive Israel team and I hope you're enjoying this series on learning from my mistakes. If you've not yet subscribed to our videos, I want to encourage you right up here, click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and also for more great content, you can start with watching more videos right here. I used to avoid it in every possible way because I didn't want someone to look back at me and to feel that I'm judging them. <laughs> 